Uh, Sam, today your victory powered uh, USA to uh, win in the match. How does it feel? Well, it feels good. I think I was really sloppy at the end. It should have been easily winning, and I made my life difficult. But you know, a win's a win, and he's very strong. And Azerbaijan was really killing it so far, and I'm glad we, we, we took them down. Uh, at what point do you think that you started to get the positional advantage? Uh, well, once I played Bishop C B6 and Bishop C5, I think he's got to do something different than what he did. I don't know if I'm already clearly better there or not, but when he... Um, when he took my bishop on c5, knight takes c5, queen c5, if he doesn't play d4, then after knight c6, I mean, he's sort of condemning himself to what he got. Uh, instead of taking the bishop, he could have tried to somehow throw rook g1 at me and, and just hope for the best, but I don't, I don't think it will work. But I don't know, I think b6, bishop c5 was the key maneuver, not fearing the double pawns and declining the repetition at this moment. And you actually uh, took your king from all the way from g8 to c8. Uh, how did this plan come to your mind? Well, he's completely paralyzed and can't do anything, but the only real break I have at my disposal is h5, and I'll probably have to play g5 first, and so where's my king going to be safest on the queen side? And since he's literally doing absolutely nothing, I mean, at some moment he could have played b4, but then he's opening the a file for me, so I just thought I might as well put my king on the safest square before getting h5 through, which is sort of what happened eventually. And when Wesley lost the game, you were trailing one down, and although Fabi was better against Shaq and you two were better, was there pressure on you? Yeah, there was definitely some pressure on me. I felt like I wasn't that much better. I mean, at some point I thought Fabiano was not better and Wesley was in massive trouble and I was completely unsure about Hikari's position. So at this was sort of the moment where I was thinking I should decline the draw. But at some point, well, there was pressure on me, but it's not like I had that much to worry about in the position. I mean, maybe I won't win, but it, I can try forever and push us for as long as I can with basically no counterplay. Well, in one of our interviews with Anish Giri, he said that uh, if USA has one weak link, it's you. But today, you are the one who helped the team win. What are your thoughts about this uh, statement? I feel intuitively that, let's say, American team, this board, uh, okay, they have three absolute top players, and they have Shankland, who has yet to prove himself as a top player. And I feel, because he is new to the scene, to the top chess, you know, to the... Uh, 2700 club, so, so to speak, I feel he's a little bit vulnerable. So I feel, let's say, if you play America, uh, you have the ceiling, like, you know, they have this uh, sort of a weak, um, uh, you know, how it's called, this ring in the chain, yeah? A chink in the armor, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he's a weak link, is the word, yeah. He, he's sort of a weak link. And well, I don't know, I mean, I'm the lowest rated, well, not, I'm the second lowest rated player on the team, that's why I'm playing board four. I think that's kind of how team events work. Um, you know, I haven't been amazing this tournament. I had the horrible hiccup against Zutovsky in this position that should have just been a very, very easy draw. And, and frankly, it is, but I have to pay some degree of attention. And I didn't, and very quickly it deteriorated. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I think I'm holding my own on board four. I mean, I'm rated 27-22. I have an extra black, and I'm holding my rating. This is not exactly a bad result, I think. Uh, you know, I've beaten three GMs. It's, I don't think it's necessarily a huge weakness for us. Thank you so much, Sam, for your thoughts and congratulations on the win. Sure, thank you.